Do you need a bilge pump for a small boat? You can manage with a hand pump or baler most of the time. But, if you have ever been caught in a heavy rainstorm, getting water out of the boat can be a challenging task. Especially, if you have to dock or tie your boat up on the shoreline due to dangerous lightning and wind. The rain and wind can fill your boat very fast. I like the safety of having an automatic bilge pump installed on my 10-foot twin troller. If you own a small boat, such as a John boat, pond prowler, bass raider, pelican intruder, quest angler, sun dolphin, bass hunter, or any other small boat, you can install a bilge pump using these same instructions. Let's get started. Lay out the parts needed for the installation. Automatic bilge pump. 18-inch stainless steel flex pipe. 3-inch piece of 3 quarters inch plastic tubing. 2 stainless steel hose clamps. Clamp the swivel nut in a vise as close to the end as possible. Pull back on the flex pipe to eliminate any slack between the pipe and the swivel nut. Use a cutoff wheel, jigsaw, or hacksaw to cut the flex pipe closely beside the swivel nut. Pull the flex pipe back tight against the swivel nut as you cut. This is how close you need to cut against the swivel nut. Remove the swivel nut from the other end. Even out the cut ends of the pipe. If the nylon sleeve is still attached, pry or twist it off the end of the pipe. Remove any sharp edges with a wire brush until smooth. Install the 3 quarter inch plastic tubing on the bilge pump outlet. Bend the end of the pipe. Using the pipe as a guide, cut off the tubing as close as possible to the bilge pump outlet. Push the pipe into the tubing up to the first ridge on the pipe. Note. We will install the hose clamps after completing the bending and fitting process. Place the bilge pump into the bottom of the transom floor. Hold the bilge pump down and bend the flex pipe over the top of the transom. 
twist the end of the discharge pipe slightly to the left. Remove the bilge pump and bend the pipe closer together. Keep bending and testing until you get a tight fit against the transom. It is not necessary to glue or bolt the bilge pump to the floor. It will stay in place when discharging water. Remove the bilge pump and install two stainless steel hose clamps. Place the bilge pump into position on the transom floor. Lay the wires around the end of the battery box. You are now ready to connect to a three-way bilge pump switch. Here are some photos of the bilge pump installed. Be sure to watch my next video, I will show you how to make a switch panel box and wire the bilge pump to the switch. Thanks for watching.